our community evolve into the centralized hub of the region. We are seeing the growth in every sector of our economy, including over 6,000 re uh, residential permits in the last three years, re uh, retail developments along our expressways, and uh, now our second industrial park. I visited this, this site several times before today's ceremony, and how amazing to see all, everything that's going on. We are on a 55-foot wide concrete road that will support the weight of semi-traffic. I see a drain system uh, that includes on the site, that's including the site for each tenant. And two acres detention pond as well. I see an impressive wall along mile nine um, that will offer security for both on either side. And commercial lots from 1015 that will generate sales tax and create more jobs for the city of Wessico. I could go on and on about all the details and everything that's going on here, but most importantly, I would like to uh, congratulate the EDC board directors and the EDC staff, both and present. They understood the growing needs of our community and the industrialized sector when purchasing these 148 acres. They could see the benefit of its location and proximity to our highways and to the international bridges of Progreso and Donna on our centralized location and region. That's why we see Glaciers, amazing building over here because they saw that what the EDC and this prime location. I would like to recognize the engineer and design work that went into this project by professional that same engineering. What you see above ground is truly impressive on its own, but what we don't see is the underground, what also the design work of Samuel Donado and his amazing team, oversized utilities that will, that will make this park a great investment for any company choosing to grow and expand in Westaco. And so join me in thanking Sames Engineering for their work here today. Once the design work was complete, the actual construction began by LNG Concrete and their amazing team. There's so much to be said of the work that they have done, but for those of you that understand construction, the company's amazing three main goals were accomplished. They stayed under budget, they stayed on schedule and they were minimal with change orders. And you know we don't like change orders. <laughs> so I wanna join me in recognizing Mr. Pablo Garza Jr. and his team at LNG with a round of applause. I would like to also thank Magic Valley Electric Co-op for their investment in our industrial park. They make, a good, they make a good portion of the underground work running power to each of the lots where y'all see are the transformers above ground. So Leonard Garcia was Magic Valley's on-site foreman and contact per person. And we thank you for all your hard work here. <laughs> Mr. Abraham Quiroga, did most of the heavy lifting in the office. So thank you both for partnering, partnering with the Westaco EDC on this project. Thank you guys, I really, really appreciate it. There are so many people that I would like to thank, but I give credit where credit's due. As a newly elected mayor, I was fortunate to inherit this complete project. I may not have seen all the, I, I may not have seen all the struggles that came along with all the project and all the work. But the ones that did was our former mayor, David Suarez, and all the city commissioners that are here, and our city manager, Martin Garza. They rode side by side with the EDC in the purchase of the land, at, at, you know, getting glaciers over here, negotiating an interconnect agreement with North Alamo Water Supply, and of course, Hidalgo County on, on irrig irrig irrigation and our drainage needs. So please join me in honoring our former mayor, David Suarez, and our city commissioners, and also Martin Garza and all their hard work and making this possible today.
This is really just an amazing future. We have an amazing future for the city of Wesico and for the Mid Valley International Industrial Park. I encourage you to seek out opportunities to this park that will create companies in our state and region. The park will be successful because of each and every one of you that are here today and that contributed in all this. As Pastor Garza said, I pray that Wesico continues to prosper and we continue to grow and we continue to grow together. So again, this is amazing. I appreciate everybody that came out to support this project and to co and continue supporting the city of Wesico. I'm excited and let's continue growing and let's continue growing together. Thank you guys, God bless you. And again, thank you guys for choosing the city of Wesico and thank you for coming out and supporting the city of Wesico. God bless.